Hey guys, welcome to what is probably the last episode of Cyberpunk 2077. It's your boy Category Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. A little bit of uh, saving and reloading worked perfectly well because now we can talk to Mitch. There was no question. I approached him better than ever. You? What? What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Oh shit, is she ready for me, man? Sure she's ready. You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this will have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Hell yeah, brother. That's all you have to say. What? I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot. Those were some fucking Aldecaldos. Relax. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Was that me? Does it seem like she's tending to the left? I could explain your thinking. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Yep. What the fuck was that? Fuck that house. Wasn't there another one out here? All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check oh. before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Heading back. Where do you think we're going, bro? Hmm? Oh, you gotta fix that, bro. She can't even fucking fly over bushes? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one why not uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters god knows what else they shot them into our veins. Our bio mons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing. And boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I can't. I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? 
Nah, no matter. Come on, man. Come on. All in fact. Might be our last chat. The truth is I'm concerned about the goings on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shakeup. And what's your take? What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Truly? Thought Saul would throw in the towel after all that went down. I'm no pundit on campfire politics, but to my eye, Saul doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Could just pass the torch to Pan Am. He could, but Saul's no brick brain. He knows Pan Am doesn't want to fill his boots. I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Yep. It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Go nuts, man. Nice chat. I just gotta give me that little check mark. That little green color. Hello? There it is. I'm out. See you. Okay, I don't know about doing all this because there are a lot of motherfuckers here. Hey, Mama Sita, how you doing? Huh? Thank it up. Don't just stand there. Have a seat. So this is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same time. And I kind of woke you up. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. For real. What do you know? You made it fine up until this point, so you'll be fine. V. What's up? Yeah. Are you not afraid to die? I already died once. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not. Nothing. I envy you. I guess. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that.
Showtime, baby! Alright, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. The fuck? Maybe he turned up something new. Forward to death, baby. Let's get it. Where's my inhaler? I need to heal up. Oh, now look at this squad, man. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. It best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Fluids checked. Top down. Gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we need to break it. Looks like it ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? Attention. It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Show me what you got. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Nightcorp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Look, I've seen enough. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. Fuck what it else? then. Once you're inside, you need to reach the circ and get it to do your bidding. Oh, you don't want to scan that? Okay. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in? Should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. Nah, I'm still good. have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? I will get back. How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast. Both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? Hell yeah, man, let's do this. See as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks.
I'm stuck! Unbelievable! Mission abort! Only me, man. Only me. Oh my god. Cactus. No casualties, you heard me? Your turn, Bobby. You Did I just run someone over? Yep. Should do. We're on Pan Am. Oh, 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 I'm fucked. Check. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. Things are going tits okay, up already. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But B, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones, you deal with the Panzer. Oh, oh. Fire in the car. Got it. Can you put it out? Break them down. Shit. Christ, people, where are you? I'm out here by the Panzer. Hold up. Hold up. How's it looking? ETA. A minute. One of them dropped the legendary part. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Okay, Bobby. The Panzer's moving. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Fun. Now we're starting to miss you all. The fuck? I got just one son of a bitch left. And he's about to get a Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby. Bobby, do you read? We have to go. I'm sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The Panzer V. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Off the road, make it across the bridge. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damned. So much shit has hit us already. We can do this. That's ours. That's a mistake. We're good? It's not much of ramming, I'm just hovering over it. Where? Wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. It says condition still 115. Falling like dominoes. There anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. Got you. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? That was Saul.
What? What? Fuck! Behind us? Oh, my bad, dude. Oh no, wait a minute. What the fuck? Get rid of that. I want the carnage. Then go. Stairs we can link remotely to the circ from there. That's a mistake. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big ass drill. Okay. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got you. Got company. Where? A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? We're gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. You got it. It's working. Prepare for takeoff. Watch out. Coming from the right. How are we doing, Mitch? 11%. Shit. Can't you speed it up? Our hands are what? tied. You fucking gun. Show you a gun. Nice cover, boys. Thanks for waiting. Muito obrigado. Another one takes his exact spot. Feels good. What the fuck is this AI? Let me not say anything, cause I'll I'll find a way to die anyway. Is he inside the car? Damn it, left side too. Carol. Who's left? How much longer? Twenty-seven percent. Uh grenade! Whoop, 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 whoop. Run! Done. Stuck on goddamn cars. Fucking throw the goddamn grenades! I can't do it because they're fucking talking on the goddamn thing? Why? Why? No, now I can use it. Thanks. Give a fuck. Okay, enough. Let them land.
Brace these nuts! Where are you going, son? Make it rain on them bitches, man! Oh my god! <laughs> Hello? Please! Don't get stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now? Hold on. A pro gamer move is exactly what we'll do right here. Um, crafting. Grenades. These are fucking coming in clutch, aren't they? Goddamn. Take a little bit of breather. I think that will do. And upgrades. Carnage. Can't do it. Okay. I'm good. Let's go. Uh, Basilisk. Hey, get back to the Panzer. We don't have time. I'm on the Panzer, mate. Am I bugging? There we go. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Much obliged. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. We have to intercept before it reaches the others. Oh, fuck. Still says. That's what I call it. Mitch, is everything all right? Present rumble, yeah, but all seems good. One fifteen, so. We did it. They're smoldering wrecks. We did that. So, Mitch, head back your way. Ah, fucking old Jaren. You can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Jesus fucking Christ. My fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, me. Everyone does. So do I. And if you'd known how this would turn out, she would still do it. I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm -hmm. Alt. And who is that? Alt's an AI. Roguish. You're getting help from an AI? Well, nothing can surprise me now. Only one capable of breaking into Arasaka's systems. And we wouldn't get into Mikoshi without her? Well, I'm sure as hell wouldn't get out. You trust her? This Alt? Yeah. Yeah. She'll help us. Why? Something got you worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta. 
come too far for him not to. I can't see shit. Maybe I'm not meant to. This would be it. How much farther to Arasaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy to let it from here. Quick feet, come on. How the fuck did you? What? Wait. What? Okay. Rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. Fellas, what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gunk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul, we're talking goddamn suicide. Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you. I'll catch you later. Best not die, brother. Best not die. Carol, I'm heading your way. Hang in there. Saul. You'll owe me a beer after this. They're gonna... All this be for nothing. Actually, Saul, you could join him. Come on up and see what's gotten into him. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Mitch? I'm here. Safe and sound. Be careful. Please. I can handle myself, man. I sure hope so. Get some Akoshi in one piece. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Please, no more cock-ups, please. Jack in and start her up. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when. Moment of truth. Here it goes. Got her in hand. We need to get baby girl a helmet, man. Pan Am, Pan Am, everything all right? Pan Am, talk to me. No, 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 Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised, is all. I've endured worse. Pan Am, for a sec, I thought you'd. It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Well, not everything, oh. but... Tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. Let's finish this, man. All these purple items, we could maybe upgrade Carnage again. What do we have here? We have some kind of maintenance chest. Looks like it leads up. <coughs> Come on. Breathe. Ah. Stop to think. It's incredible we have it. He's standing right where the AHQ bomb left a huge crater. Then. Isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Oh shit. Who knows? Great. What the <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. I'm just pushing up, nothing else. Bloody Nora. Are 
okay? Careful where you point that fucking thing. It's inside me, bro. Uh, I'm running out of time. We gotta hurry. Anyone know what we are? If we look around, we'll find out. All right, server room. The guards need our attention first. Got this. Don't like this. Not one bit. You thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at least. It all but shit, we've been made. Nah, almost never. <laughs> oh! They will regret this. What did they do? <laughs> Have a good. What's up with the music? Oh, okay. Now everybody knows you dropped in for a pick. No worries. They have a whole unit there. It's okay. The whole building is high alert. Their systems must have picked up the vibrations from the drill. Fuck! We're all good. Where in the hell are we? Even? Plant and services level. Their systems cut us off. We're sitting ducks here. What about an access point? See you nearby. Need a port I can jack all the shard into. Checking. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. I'm sending you the shortest route. God, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Take it slow. No unwanted attention. Go, go, go! Bitch! Trying to fucking hack me, bro? Okay. Um, Bitch! Oh. Oh no. Who? What? Where? Any more for any more. Oh shit, son! What up? Bitch. <laughs> oh, come on. This is beautiful. Today, bro. Today. Bitch. Was that man fucking serious? Okay, purple, purple. Where they at? Oh, let's go. We're done here. Alt, the shards in. Yes. How much time do you need to? It is done. Well, yes, it worked. So we can keep going to Makoshi. Your path lies open. Still alive, you two. For now. What the fuck? Likewise. Were you wondering if you stepped in shit, mate? 
Let's go. Let's go get her. This is a cold black. Cold black. Everyone, run. I'll cover you. Interesting. They tried to make a break for it. She turned the car into a death trap. Huh. Interesting. I hope she doesn't turn on us because if she does, it's a riggedy rap for us. Steps is all that separates you from Makoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. Appreciate you guys. Ah, shit! Is that order? No! Oh! Oh no! I can't fuck with that guy. That it's Mr. 96. Oh no! Fuck! Ah, uh, Panam, get the fuck out! Ah! <laughs> Bitch! Oh my god! Heal! 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 Run! 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 Oh my god! What? What? Oh my god! What the fuck? That's not fair. Shit, that's not. Get up. V, please get the fuck up. I hate you so much, V. Where is it? What? Where is it? Where is it? Are you fucking kidding me? We gotta run. Oh! Oh, the other way! The other, other way! That's a crit city bitch! Crit, crit city bitch! Jump down, pussy. Because if you don't, oh, all day, all day. Panem, you gotta move. Was that one punk? What? 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 Oh! 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 Thank you. Where? Was that one punk? Fuck! Gotta go, boys. 
I can't see him. Oh, you bitch! Can I even... I don't think... Run, run, run. Okay. Here's what we do. Chasing me, I'm chasing him. Punk! Where you going? Come here! Benny Hell ass music. Are you well to enjoy? Run. Is he gonna blow up? Let's go. Oh. Adam Smasher. I remember you. you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny? He's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? This. In the end? Got you. Silverhand triumphs. <coughs> I, I think all that was tougher than that guy. Go, go, go. Panam! What are you doing, Ma? Help me! I'm dead! I'll make it. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. The access point lies before you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Uh, I'm kind of not trusting her now. I can do this. Oh, hey, Ma. Let me talk to you real quick. So listen, all I know for sure is all it's bound to stage a coup in my head. I know who'll be coming back from this cyber jaunt. So I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. Okay, are we good? I'm gonna mosey on now. I don't wanna die. Are you? No, no kisses, no nothing. Alright, fuck it then. <laughs> Lost your chance, madame.
Oh no. By default, penis might be out. What? Mr. Brightman? Mr. Brightman again? Let's go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Johnny, all packed, you wash out, got your one-way ticket. This funny to you? You know, discovered one nice thing about becoming Johnny Silverhand. You stop giving a slim a shit about Johnny Silverhand. That's mean. Is that right? This mean you've already decided what comes next? Maybe. What? Jump down? What? I have to, bro. Johnny, not gonna lie. You best prepare your ass for the fucking kick of the century. Got no idea where you'll land after it, but sure hope it'll be far away from me. Alt? Alt? You here? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Holy shit, dude. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the Gog's brain. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. You played yourself. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override. But V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. You two still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. What do you think of that? The crap. You gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. There it is. Alt. What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. 
Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. <sighs> Shit. That's the only thing you can say to that. Shit. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Oh. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't, I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Doesn't matter. Beyond the black wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That life beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. Could also be an engram reading code. It's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data, but an animal still prowls inside us, and its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denial. Really, no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here, for folks like us. Wrong city, wrong people. Be it the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Six months, still my days left to live, man. Yeah, we... We stick to the plan. Johnny, I'm sorry. Oh no. So It's been real, man. Goodbye. in smoke with damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country serves you right sucka how's it feel to be on your knees huh <laughs> worry not on wash mats as our wondrous lives in night city won't change much but when do they ever that's the first bird we've we seen Miss dust and chrome and Miss dust and chrome we shall all die 
for some good news and some bad news. Good news is. Hey, Panamito! I'm broke. This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. What do you think now? Or what did you think then? What did you make of me? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. I was. We both were. Bet you had no idea we'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? Sure did. Doesn't matter, don't think. We'll forget it all, tanning our backsides in the Arizona sun. Time and perspective. Need a bit of both. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. Glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Good fucking riddance. Used to think of it as my city. Bonded together. I owned it, it owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were. Both of us. Yes, but damn it! It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. But we're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better, somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. What's the plan? Everything is set. We'll meet our people soon. Gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Take care, Night City. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. What is this music, Ma? Probably killed her ass. This is rot. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Just realized. Here I am. Clepping from Arasaka again. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the bastards' noses. 
We better. New beginnings can be rough. Don't you know it. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. Do tell. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. <clears throat> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Hmm. Golly beans. Um, oof. Smooth. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. <laughs> You are a sweet talker, aren't you? I do you? what I do when I do it, goddammit. But it works, doesn't it? Say it. Say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. I wish my car could turn like this. City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk. Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. So he survived. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Jim. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Facts. Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in Panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. How about Carol Please and the rest? Not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Saul's dead? Oh, yeah, Saul is dead. Or Holy shit. After that move with the I forgot about that, dude. He got I stomped the fuck out. Cooked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I guess the squabbles have ended now as well with Saul out of the Even picture. The air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Interesting. It's high time. Hey, remember that construct? Last that was the first time we yeah, I mean. Or it's not true, actually. We re reloaded the mission and I spawned inside of you. That I think hey. that was the first time. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Ooh, what is that? Hell yeah. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. Oh, I'm ready. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Okay. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. What about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. 
drones on perpetual patrol? Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Okay. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the roads like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. Huh. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move, before that storm finds us. We all set? Mm -hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. The fuck? Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. I want to look at her. I can't. It could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck! I just realized something. What's that? What? The portal. It wasn't here when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought. Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'm in the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. So we're driving through the storm. Been ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. They launched the drones. Let them come. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Good luck, kids. Where did they go? See you on the other side. See ya. The nitro is ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Deuces. Slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Wait, what?
Are you sure about that? I guess that's a pretty cool ending. I wonder if I messed something up. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. And all those side quests I did with uh, River, Carrie, Judy. I didn't really get to see them here, so I don't know if I missed something. I was kind of hoping that they would help me. During the last mission, but I'm pretty satisfied with the ending I got. Is it time? Is it time for credits? There it is. Hey V, how's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. We gotta start with love, no right? To get yourself a check <laughs> now that we wrap this game up, we gotta start with love. That um. I really liked it as a whole. Four star hotel. So actually, I thought you'd just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like Sounds good, Vic. Sounds good. Till next time, V. Um V. Is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Hey. Have you lost your mind, Mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Mama Wells does not approve. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. Wait here. If you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. Can't wait. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> oh, you can't see the text. I, that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey V, listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. I never realized how hard being a chief would be. It always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have you V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh. I mean... The odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, 
Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. I can't do that, but... Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, Pete, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's no reason not to for you, if you can care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! V, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Parabas. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay. So my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 well you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. That's it? Alright. Listen. The main storyline... I heard that most people or some people thought that it was kind of too short. I can agree with that. But it was such high quality, so well paced that... I don't mind it. I really like the main storyline. I wouldn't have minded if we had more fleshed out, right? Like, for example, one of the main beefs I had with the game uh, during the prologue was that we never got to live through that little cutscene montage thing with Jackie, Mama Wells. Like, Jackie and I, we had a mission with Padre that I would have loved to, you know, done so we could, like, bond together and there would be more character development and all that. That would have been amazing. But I don't know, maybe maybe it was one of those things that had to be cut out. But then Mama Wells tells us that you lived under my roof and it feels like we missed that part completely. It's just minor touches that kind of irk me. But the main storyline, great. The side quest that opened up in Act 2, very good. The world, hey, I loved exploring the map. It was fun. Um, voice acting was great. The gunplay to me felt fine. I mean, I don't play too many shooters, but it felt fine to me. There are a lot of good things about this game. 
a lot of things that could be improved by patching expansions. Like, you could even fix the uh, fleshing out issue by dropping new expansions. But there are some things that you can't fix, right? There are some minor details like in Afterlife, for example. Let me just turn her down a little bit so I won't scream. Like these minor details I'm thinking of, like you get a drink named after yourself in Afterlife when you turn into a legend after you bite the dust. I mean, the bartender Claire said she would create a drink for Jackie Wells, but not only did she not give me my goddamn drink, it wasn't even on the menu. That's nitpicking stuff, right? That's nitpicking stuff. Um, this game was released with a lot of bugs, and you know what? Before I started doing those that that slew of side quests in Act Two, I was thinking, if this game was released by Ubisoft. We would be saying, oh, this is classic fucking Ubisoft, man. They're like, you're looking for the copy and paste, um, those blue icons, assault missions, organized crime missions. Just copy and paste that like a hundred times or whatever. Um, I don't, I still don't understand what the purpose of sending me all those ads for the cars were. Like, I don't, there is no way. If you take a look, at the amount of fleshed out side quests and the length of the main storyline you can kind of see that there were a lot of things tacked on that did not need to be there i said that the gunplay mechanics were good but i can't say the same thing about the driving mechanic for example i can't say the same thing about the melee with beat the brat missions um I think this is a decent game, and it will only get better as they patch the game. However, I think they kind of fucked up with the release of this game. Because when this game was released, bugs were plentiful. To this, to this version, I think this is 1.06, everywhere you turn, there is a new bug waiting for you. Like, you remember my bugs in the beginning of the series where I couldn't... Uh, aim down the sights to my gun. I couldn't use my fist. I couldn't reload my gun. I couldn't do a whole lot of shit, man uh, Even even in this episode like I couldn't talk to Mitch. I had to reload my save. I don't know what the fuck happened there But those can be fixed a gripe that I have Maybe I've been spoiled right I have played through Red Dead Redemption 2 and I played Ghost of Tsushima so a lot of features that I come to expect from the genre we're not present here. I mean, sure you could say I'm nitpicking when I say that you can't change your haircut, get tattoos, or or um, change the color of your car, whatever, mod your car, get better wheels, upgrade your engines. I guess what I'm trying to say is there were a lot of minor details that were missing from this game. And that added with the bugs, it kind of fucks up the first impression. You only get to make that one once, right? So I don't know. During this game's release, a couple of red flags arose, like CD Projekt Red wouldn't let reviewers showcase the game performance on consoles. Um, man, shit left a sour taste in my mouth. You had to pull the game from PSN. And the release of the game in the in the beginning of or in the middle of December, it felt like you guys were trying to rush this out so that you could sell a few more copies during the holidays. It just When you think back to what was promised by CD Project Red, we were kind of expecting something brown groundbreaking with this uh game. What we got was is just another open world game on that conveyor belt. This, I don't feel like this innovated enough. That's just me. What, what you got? You got quick hacking, you got scanning. Uh, it's, it's, it's not enough. To me, it's not enough. Sure, the quality, when the highs get high, they uphold a very good standard. 
But when you couple that with the bugs and the copy and paste side missions... <sighs> I would say this was overhyped. I don't think I would place this game in my top 20. Nah. Maybe. No. I would hold Red Dead Redemption 2 and Ghost of Tsushima above this game as far as open world goes, right? Um, and The Witcher 3 is actually in my top 5. Top 3. It could even push that. Definitely. So I don't know. I don't know. There was a lot of love put into this game. But then there were areas that fell flat on their faces. I'm not a graphics whore, right? But I, I spent some time tinkering trying to get this game look as good as possible on my 1080 Ti, which is still in the computer. We're still waiting for the 3080. But you could see, like, the amount of detail that went, went into, like, bottles or char certain character models compared to, like, minor characters and fucking cheeseburgers and fries, like... It's like it were made by two separate departments. Like one one area did what what they could, but it just wasn't enough to um, maintain that quality set by the other department that things really really well. But the game must have done something right because I I blazed through it. I invested over seventy hours, maybe eighty hours. I did the most I could do. Even with regards to, it's the holiday season, so you might hear some firecrackers out there. Um, I did the best I could with taking care of those side missions, even the minor ones that wouldn't lead anywhere. So it, it obviously did something right, because I was knocking them out in a very efficient manner. The game didn't waste your time in that regard. But there were other instances where you would have to wait like 24 hours, you would wait... 24 hours and then you wait another 24 hours because it didn't trigger you would try to zoom over to another spot in order to hopefully trigger it so you would say fuck it i'll start another side quest and as soon as you start that fucking side quest mid dialogue that little motherfucker that you waited to call for it just calls you and now the dialogue overlaps another thing that i did not like about this game is that certain events Especially in the beginning, do you remember the car chase or the, the sequence where Jackie and V were driving away from... Which area was it? I don't know. But there was a van following us and it, it, it drove past us. The back doors opened up and there were like two dudes. And you were about to shoot them because buy some time, don't get hit, all that. In lower difficulties, you don't have to hit them. Like, you don't have to fire a gun once. I was playing on very high difficulty, they fucking sniped me so I had to shoot at them, but even if you don't shoot at them, the same events occur. Even if you don't fire a single fucking shot, that car will still veer off to the left and hit the fucking hotel. All that will happen. But I guess it, it makes you feel like a badass, it was their idea of making it feel like, I don't know, some cinema... Some cinema effects? I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but... There were some things that didn't really sit well with me, but overall, I would say this is a decent game. I mean, it obviously must have done something right if I invested like 80 hours into it in a, in a very short amount of time as well. Uh, I'm glad I got to play through this game. If I were to advise you, I would say wait until they patch the game further. Wait and purchase it on PC if you can. Like, I would advise against buying it on PS4 or any of the consoles, because one thing that the PS... Uh, one thing that the PC version has going for itself is that there is a modding community that is actually sprawling with content right now, even as we speak. I actually took a look at that, because they had some uh, performance optimizations available. So I, I tried... I tinkered with it a little bit. I, I tried to make the game run as well as possible i think i could not have done better because it wasn't it wasn't um i didn't have any hiccups on my end however 
with OBS, when I look at the preview scheme, even here, like, I could see, like, it's not as smooth going up the text from bottom to top as it is on my monitor, my gaming monitor, right? But I think hopefully it was an enjoyable LP. There wasn't much room for me to commentate on, but uh, hopefully it was fine. Hopefully, hopefully your playthrough will pan out differently because I, f I still feel like Judy, River, and all of the rest that we helped in Act 2 with their side quest. Maybe it's... Maybe it's due to the fact that we didn't choose um, to side with Hanako or Johnny. But instead we went the Panam route. I don't regret it. I, I, I was pretty satisfied with the ending. But still. I don't have much more to say, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the project as a whole. I'm very happy that we have cleared it. I'm very happy that I never crashed the desktop or fell off the map. We encountered a few bugs, yeah, but for the most part they were they were entertaining, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk for much longer, man. Let's go chill, let the credits roll. And I'll see you guys for a different project. Maybe somewhere down the line they will drop some expansions. And we'll play through those. But in the future any any goodwill that the Witcher 3 or their previous entries have garnered because the Witcher 3 was buggy in the beginning as well during launch but I didn't encounter any game breaking bugs back then you know so I had a pretty pleasant experience for, with it from day one with this one and keeping in mind what they promised that they hype they kind of gassed themselves up with this one right I'm gonna be a little bit more wary going forward with CD Projekt Red. Yeah. I think any goodwill that they may have generated has been zeroed. Because this game wasn't ready when it came out, man. And they generated quite a bit of bad will with me, for example. Which is a sad thing to say, because CD Projekt Red was supposed to be one of the last few good ones, you know what I mean? But we'll see. We'll see what else they cook up. I'm excited for it because when they are... When they're doing their thing, they're doing their thing. They uphold a very high standard. I don't know. Hopefully I managed to... Check everything off. Because I was thinking about a lot of these details, right? While I was playing through them, but once you're once you're at the end of the game, the credits start rolling, and you're still trying to digest everything that happened in the ending, it's it's kind of hard to bring everything out. But I do have to say, even though I had a good time with it, I'm still left a little bit disappointed, man. The amount of side quests that you allowed me to do from the very beginning. I maxed out my street cred before the first time I had to meet with Takemura. Like, maybe the pacing was a little bit off there. Maybe you could have introduced them gradually. I don't know how you could have fixed it, but it kind of... Eh. Like, I would start one episode, I'm like level 8. I'll start another episode, he's level 16. And the episode after that, he's fucking level 38. Like, what the fuck happened here? It is what it is, man. I will probably revisit this game sometime, but I'll probably do that off camera. Um, I have another gripe with the game though. During the course of the game, you amass street cred, like your legacy grows, but I mean you don't get to upgrade your apartment, like you don't get to fill it with uh, collectibles, memorabilia, whatever. And I mean, there was there was even a mail sent to you in the beginning of the game saying, "Yo, your your rent's overdue." But I'm out here with a fucking hundred stacks under the mattress. I'm I can pay. I'm it's cool. You're not even giving me the option to do so. You're just saying shit to say shit. And I guess that's part of what you know pisses me off at the end of the day. Just allow me to pay the fucking rent. Allow me to drink the drink, Jackie Wells, that I. <laughs> you know what I mean, it ain't hard. It ain't hard, and you've done you've done more amazing things. It's the minor things that you stumbled on with this one. 
And maybe if you had another year, you would have put out something truly memorable with all of these bugs and shortcomings ironed out. Because like I said, you can only make you can only make that first impression once. And that's it. Those are my thoughts on this game. What did you think of it? I'm out.